Well, hello there. It's me, the Swedish guitar nerd again. And uh, well, today's review will be done standing since, well, you can see why. It's on Flying Wii and uh, they aren't made to be played sitting down. So here we go. Uh, again, a request. So uh, this goes out for you. It's the cheapest you can get from um, Gibson USA. Uh, I've done a lot of ranting about Gibson USA on my blog and I'll try to stick to this guitar this time, just. Uh, okay. So this is a US made guitar. It's uh, one of the Melody Maker uh, in the Melody Maker series, the Flying Weave. Yeah, let's go through it. Uh, we have uh, for tuners, we have Cluson uh, uh, style tuners, but they are... Uh, I was really surprised. Uh, I was just expecting a much worse quality, actually. And they are actually pretty good. We have a mahogany neck. We have the special uh, headstock for the Melody Maker series. It's a... I don't know. I thought it looked horrible on pictures, but when in real life it really isn't that bad. So I can change my mind. We have a mahogany neck. And uh, the finish of the guitar is very uh, thin and uh, you can feel the grain through it and it's it's very matte, it's not not glossy at all. Uh, we have a mahogany neck, uh, they have a special profile for the Melody Maker series. It's by Gibson standards rather slim actually. But yeah. Feels like a regular guitar neck to me. Uh, the fingerboard is not rosewood, no. as it uh, looks like it is baked maple and uh, what i think they do is that they bake maple that, that's it has become a common material actually um i've seen uh, sewer guitars are having it as well and uh, it's not only in this case changes the color of the maple but it also brings out all the uh, natural fluids in the wood and makes it much more uh, heat and uh, water resistant. And maple is much more sustainable and much more uh, cheaper than rosewood, so I suppose it's the cheap part, that's the reason why they're using it here. But I like maple as you know. And uh, maple, we have the entire body made of maple. And it's a rather thin one. Uh, uh, and this is not a common thing, usually it's mahogany. Or uh, Corina mahogany style wood. And uh, yeah. A single uh, pickup. Uh, instead of a proper tunomatic bridge, they have just like the stop tail part of it. That's not intonationable at all. We have a single volume control and an output switch and that's it. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Materials and hardware are seven. Well, uh, build quality. Uh, the fret ends, a usual complaint, is a problem here. This is a USA made guitar and uh, it's obvious the things they cut down on is the quality control basically of the guitars and the amount of time they spend building them. And for the price, I suppose you should expect it, but I don't know why they are making bad guitars. 
Uh, we have this uh, nut that's uh, marketed on their homepage as uh, a plec cut nut that's basically it's cut by a, a specialized machine. And maybe they should do it by hand instead because this isn't really good. Uh, the strings are, most of them are on top of the nut and uh, yeah. For instance, the high E sounds like this. It buzzes when it's open, so the nut is clearly cut wrong. Hmm, and that's one of the things that they market for like being the good thing about this guitar. It's not that good. Okay, other than that, the frets are great. It's a very, it's the usual Gibson, very flat radius, very rather large frets. Um, Nice inlays, by the way. Uh, they look really good. Um, yeah, and this bridge. I don't know why. I don't know why they are making this. Uh, they, sh if you ask me, and not, keeps not asking me anything. Obviously, you can see I'm always complaining about them. Uh, why don't they do like the PRS style thing uh, where it's pre intonated at least? It's the same amount of material, it's the same amount of labor, and it will make the guitar much better. It's the thing that happens, you can't intonate this one, and uh, the strings uh, all need a, a special uh, length from this point to that point. Uh, for the notes to be right, correct all over the neck. So what happens now is when you play a chord up here, it's decent, but as f the further down this neck you go, uh, the worse they get. So if you're playing like just, you know, power chords way up here and using the rest of the neck for solos, then it's not a problem. But if you don't, if you play chords somewhere up here, then Sound rather horrible. Well, I don't know if this guitar is made for that kind of music. It's probably made for, well, what I started out with. Um, but as I said, it wouldn't cost them a, anything more to make a pre intonated bridge. So do it, Gibson. Uh, okay. We have this single humbucker is uh, marketed again. They do a lot of marketing at Gibson. And it's marketed as a Simo Duncan pickup. That it really isn't. It's a Duncan design pickup. Made in the Far East. Uh, it's a HP 103 in the HP 103 series. Uh, so it's the high higher gain pickup. And that's not it's not a bad pickup. But they should tell you what it is. Uh, uh. Other than that, yeah, it's nothing more to talk about. Well, uh, as usual, there's no extra wood here on the Gibson guitars. And for some reason, they made the neck of, out of mahogany and nothing else. And I don't know why. If I if I got to choose, and again, Gibson's not asking me any questions, obviously, I would make the neck entirely out of maple and make the body out of mahogany. Uh, that would make much more sense, uh, since maple is much solid wood, much more solid wood. And uh, yeah, when we get the sounds, you can probably hear that you could need the warmth of the mahogany, and you don't get that, obviously from using mahogany in the neck only. Uh, build quality, durability, it gets a six. 